I hear a lot of VAs talk about having imposter syndrome. They feel like they don't know what they're doing, that their skills aren't good enough to charge money, or that they need to be an expert to help clients. If you have similar feelings, it's okay. It's perfectly normal. You're normal. Hello, welcome to the Desire to Done podcast. I'm your host, Billy Gardner. Imposter syndrome is a crippling feeling that can hold you back from launching and growing your VA business if you're not aware of what's going on, which is why I wanted to talk about it today. So first off, what exactly is imposter syndrome? Is it when someone feels like a fraud? That's what I used to think, but I've discovered that it entails many different feelings, not just feeling like a fraud. Imposter syndrome is the persistent feeling of doubting your abilities and believing that you're a fraud despite your achievements or successes. While it's not an official mental health disorder, imposter syndrome can be debilitating, making your life and business more difficult than they should be. Some examples of imposter syndrome are comparing yourself to other VAs and feeling not good enough or experienced enough. Feeling like you need to be an expert or know everything before you can help any clients. Constantly feeling like you're not the right VA for your clients. Feeling inadequate no matter your skill level or accomplishments. Feeling uncomfortable when clients give you praise or compliments because you feel like you don't deserve it. Or fearing that you won't meet other people's expectations. Introverts are more likely to suffer from imposter syndrome than extroverts because we tend to be deep thinkers, analyzers, and feelers who internalize more often than not. We also have the habit of being our own worst critics since we live inside our heads. It's important for introverts to be aware of this so that we can be more mindful of our thoughts and kick imposter syndrome to the curb before it stops us from pursuing the things most important to us. But how do you overcome such a thing? How exactly do you kick imposter syndrome to the curb? Well, there are many different techniques, but some of my favorites are to one, be self-aware. When you have feelings of fear and doubt, acknowledge them. Don't just judge yourself or beat yourself up. Remember, it's normal to have these feelings. Two, journal your feelings. Where are these thoughts coming from? Are you triggered by a new experience or opportunity like working with your first client? Were you criticized by a parent or teacher for making mistakes when you were young? When we stop and think about the cause or source of the thought, it can shed light on the situation. For example, it's common to feel like an imposter when doing something new. It's also common to realize you're hard on yourself because someone else was when you were growing up. Three, change a negative thought into a positive one. Let's say you launched your business, but you feel you don't have enough skills to help any clients. So instead of putting yourself out there looking for clients, you do nothing. You could instead replace those negative thoughts with something more positive, like my skills are good enough and can help many people. There are also people out there willing to train me. So I've been mentoring introverted VAs for a few years now, and I hear similar concerns pop up all the time. So let's go through some of these common concerns, and I'll share my two cents on each topic. Scenario one, I'm scared to get started as a VA, and I'm overthinking everything so much that I'm paralyzed to move forward with my business. My best advice for overthinking is to take action. Just jump in get out of your head. Things will go the way they are supposed to. Leave perfectionism behind. It can really hinder your growth. I'm always working on letting go of perfectionism. It can be uncomfortable, but also very freeing. The fear of the unknown is debilitating, but you'll be surprised at what you can accomplish even though you don't feel ready. Take baby steps and keep going. Scenario two. I'm not an expert. How can I help clients if I don't know everything? I know it's scary to get out of your comfort zone and do something you've never done before, but you can do it. The more experience you get, 
the more confident you'll feel about your abilities and skills. You can't expect yourself to be an expert right out of the gate. You only become an expert when you continually do the thing. Sometimes you only need to know a little more than your client. You can always beef up your skills as you're assisting clients. And sometimes with a little research, you can learn a skill really quickly. The best medicine is to keep moving ahead. And also remember the following. You don't have to feel like an expert to help someone. There are people out there who need your help and want to work with someone like you. Scenario three, I'm scared I won't meet my client's expectations. How do I move past this? Look, we are our own worst critics. Do the best you can every day. If that's not good enough for your clients, then you're probably not a good fit. Remember, it doesn't only depend on what your clients think of you and your work. Your opinion matters too. Sometimes clients are not the right ones for us, and you'll need to learn to recognize it so you can move on. Scenario four, why would someone hire me when there are more qualified VAs out there? Because there's nobody like you. Some people will hire you because of your personality and kindness and train you if you don't have the skills. Although I'm sure you already have tons of skills. Remember, imposter syndrome can affect anyone, regardless of gender, race, social status, education, or skill level. In fact, almost everyone has experienced it at least once in their lifetime. If you think seasoned VAs out there don't have it, think again. It happens to almost everyone at every stage in life and business. It also happens to tons of successful people like authors, celebrities, engineers, you name it. If you're struggling with imposter syndrome and need more support, I created a training called the Introvert's Guide to Imposter Syndrome that's available inside my membership, the Introvert VA Club. We also have an amazing community of VAs who are always happy to support you, give feedback, or lift your spirits whenever you need it, especially when imposter syndrome rears its ugly head. If you're interested, just go to introvertbaclub.com to sign up. You'll have access to this training, community, and 80 plus resources to start and grow your business. I hope that I was able to shed light on this topic and that you're able to recognize what imposter syndrome really is, which is lies. The more adept you become at identifying those lies, the faster you can squash those feelings and move into a more positive place. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.